In 1935, Lagonda won the Le Mans 24-hour race. Fresh from their win, they produced this, the LG45 Rapide. At the time, it was the fastest car on the road, capable of 100 miles per hour. At the heart is a four and a half liter straight six Meadows engine. But more importantly, it had a stylish and flamboyant design. Cutaway doors, wild wings without running boards, and those exterior chromed exhaust made it an incredible looking car on the road. Look at that. We always talk about the history of Lagonda. We always talk about the history of Lagonda, the history of the brand, of course, Le Mans, the top speed of the car. But one of the really important things is the history of this actual car. And, and I really wanted to take the time to show you because this Lagonda Rapide is so well documented. We put together these great history files. The first thing we come across is, of course, the build sheet for the car. So all the specification of when the car was new down to the servicing that the car had in 1937. I mean, really valuable documentation when it was sold new to uh, Scotland. The car then was uh, later sold to Argentina where it had a really successful racing life and also shown at some shows. And, and we've managed to find some photos of the car racing in Argentina. The first one here from, from the 1940s uh, with um, uh, the uh, then owner, uh, Lucio Bollart, racing uh, the car in Argentina here at the start of another event. I mean, just flicking through these photos, look at that, racing against an SSK. How great is that? Where it finished sixth overall in that, uh, in that event. I love this color photo. I mean, finding a color photo from Argentina when the owner is still wearing his, uh, his helmet there, racing down the, um, uh, the back straight. So great documentation uh, from the 40s, from the 50s, and of course, all the way through to the, uh, to the 60s. Here we can see the car in the 60s and early 70s. And actually, coming to the early 70s, let me show you this, because this is really one of my favorite bits. We've got a magazine here, an original magazine from 1970 where we've got a feature on this car, a color feature with the owners from the 70s with, uh, with his uh, kids in the car um, and seeing all the details of the engine bay and where it was. It's a really interesting article from, uh, from the 1970s. So again, great addition to the history. So more photos again from uh, Argentina from when it was shown at some different, uh, uh, different car shows. Nice to see that uh, we've got a copy of the user manual. And it goes on. I mean, the, the documentation on this car, even race programs as to where, where to race, how many laps. And that, that's just one file. Don't forget, we've got, we've got three complete files here uh, of paperwork, invoices for uh, uh, restoration and, and various work done. And here, one more that I have to show you. I mean, the paperwork that we have on this car from the 80s, from the 70s, from the 60s, all of this work done. So you can see a car that's never actually been neglected. And I really want to take the time to show you all the paperwork that we have because it's really, really quite impressive. Now there's one more thing to do, which is to get out there and drive the car and let's see how it really performs on the road. You know, the other thing about this uh, Rapide that has really surprised me is the steering. The steering is really light and very, very precise. Very, very advanced. I, when I, I hadn't driven a Rapide before and when I first got into the car, I thought, oh, it's gonna be a heavy pre-war car. But actually, it's really, really light. I was very pleasantly surprised. There we go, we go fourth gear. And just really drive it with a torque of the engine. You know, the mechanicals of the Rapide were derived from the four and a half liter that won Le Mans in 1934. So really it's quite a, I feel it's a sporting drive. WO made some tweaks to this car compared to the Le Mans winner. And it's turned into a sporty, a really quite comfortable car to drive. There's only 24 Lagonda Rapides in existence today. And having had the opportunity to spend the day behind the wheel of this particular car, I can tell you that the LG45 is one of the most rewarding pre-war cars that I have driven in a long time.